Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of my summer car. You can see we are currently yet in another save game, mostly because I played a little bit in between the episodes and I made a lot of grave errors with our save game that it felt almost more convenient to start from scratch. Now I'm not so far behind where we were the last time, what we want to do today is actually bring this bad boy to the mechanic and fix a few things. I intentionally made it white and I left it white so that we can see all of the errors a little bit better. Preferably I would like to exchange a couple of things, at least the ones that we can afford and then I would also do the wheel alignment at the mechanic and maybe a little bit of tuning, we shall see what we can afford. Anyways, what we want to do for a rough wheel alignment is what you guys told me, take the size 14 spanner and then we want to have a look inside of here in order to find this nut right there. What you want to do is turn it all the way towards the outside. So as soon as the wheel isn't turning any longer towards the outside, you're good. Now we want to do 60 clicks into the other direction, so I will have to count this and I'm just gonna skip it in the recording. Alright, I'm already 50 clicks in, let's do about 10 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. And this should be, you know, roughly a good straight adjustment, more or less. We are of course going to do the same thing on the other side. So here is the nut, I want to turn this all the way to the outside and then go in 60 clicks. 59 and 60. There we go. Beautiful. Great. Okay, now I want to take this bastard towards the shop. Let's actually check the time. What time is it? Ah, it's not even 6 yet, so maybe we actually take another nap. Just, you know, about until 8 or so. Okay, it is 8 o'clock. Perfect. And by the way guys, if you want to show your appreciation towards this series, please leave a like. This is one of the best ways to show it, of course, apart from commenting on the video. So every little bit of support is definitely appreciated, guys, so do not forget about that. Okay, let's see, I want to take a few things with me. I'm actually gonna put this into the trunk, uh, the toolbox right there. And I just noticed this is called bootlet. I thought this thing is called bootlet. What is this thing called? Because I would like to repair that at the repair shop. I would like to have one of those. My car is so damaged for some reason, this version here. I mean, I haven't even driven it yet. Look at the door, this is crazy. <laughs> But that's fine, we are gonna repair everything at the repair shop anyways. Not today, because it takes a lot of money, but at least we can do a little something today. Good, all my stats seem to be fine, I have my gasoline tank. Oh, one more thing I need to do that I haven't done in this save game just yet, and we will also have a look at that today. We are gonna install it together today, but I want this thing and this thing once again. I haven't ordered those guys just yet. Alright, let's bring the envelope right here onto the passenger seat and then we are ready for our journey. Wish me good luck. This is going to be the first time I'm driving this car. Nothing is really adjusted anymore at the moment, but I think we should be fine. Let's get... Oh no, reverse stalled it immediately. Okay, I heated it up a little bit. Let's try this again. No! Alright, alright, we might have a very bad fuel mixture. I mean, I haven't played around with it too much yet, so let's grab our screwdriver there we go and we want to have a look inside of here and bring the screw outwards a little bit so I don't know 10 clicks or so should be good yeah it's looking already a little bit better I don't think completely white smoke is actually what you want to go for we might have to adjust this bad boy here. I tightened it a little bit more. I'm not sure if that helps at all. Ah, okay, there we go. Air fuel mixture is much better now. Finally, man. This took quite a while to fix, but now I feel calm. This actually feels great. It's also feeling like it's going very straight at the moment. That is good. Right, so we need to make our way to Lopi. But first we're gonna make a detour to the shop so we can fill this bad boy up. And we also want to throw down our envelope. Oh yes, on the road again, finally! Ah, I'm actually now really looking forward to driving vehicles in this game. Usually the driving part was actually a nuisance and I didn't understand why it was made so agonizingly long. But now I do understand because with the steering wheel it, it actually becomes really fun. I do know a lot of people also enjoy the mouse and keyboard, of course, in these settings. But to me, the driving with the keyboard was just a nuisance. Oh jeez, that didn't sound 
Well, hopefully nothing is gonna break. I have to be careful because if anything breaks on this car and you lose the parts, I don't know what I have to do. I might have to restart because I've seen so many parts already, you know, randomly split off depending on your crash. Oh no, something is leaking. Did you see that? Oh, that's actually the coolant, isn't it? I've seen that before. So we might have done something to our car. I'm not sure. Yeah, you can also see the temperature is now rising into the dangerous zone. I've seen this issue before, but when I had a look into the engine, I couldn't figure out uh, if there was a screw or something that wasn't tightened enough. Hmm, it happens too often. I quickly have to get to a halt and check this out. Then we got all of this ship bang and there this seems to be tightened. Uh, ah, look at that. There is something unscrewed. Why the heck would you be unscrewed? Let's uh, go ahead and grab our toolbox. What we need for this is number six, I believe. Yeah, I do remember that. Why the heck? Why the heck would you be unscrewed? This is so weird. Does this randomly happen? But, well, I hope we fix the error with that. We did lose a whole bunch of coolant, but I think we can buy some more at the shop when we are there. All right, let's see if the error still occurs, but I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't think so. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, okay, so it doesn't happen anymore. So there you go. Whenever something is leaking, there is always an error. The last time I just didn't find it, apparently. Oh, oh, Jesus. I'm oversteering left and right. Oh, jeez. Did I just lose a muffler or so? <laughs> no, no, no. I think I think we're good. There we go. I just don't want to mess this up, you know, guys. And uh, down we go. Whee! Soon enough, we're going to be on a proper street. And here we go. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah. Ah, steering feels immediately much better. I think we have to go for better tires, like the rally tires or something so that we feel a little bit better on the gravel path. Because in the end, we actually spend most time there. But let's see what our baby is capable of doing. Maybe we get already over 140, that would be great. Just over this hill, it goes down a little bit, so we should be able to do better. And uh, there we go, come on, let's see what's in you. The alignment actually feels great. It's still going a little bit towards the right side. Ah, so just barely over 120, not even 130, of course. That's not what we want to go for. No, sir, no. But there we go. We finally made it to the village, so we can actually fuel this guy up. Maybe purchase some sausage and beer for this car, and then we're gonna go to the mechanic. All right, there we go. Want to park this bad boy here, shut off the engine. And we're gonna go ahead and pick this. No, actually this one here, the 98, of course. All filled up, that's great. Can I open the trunk? Yes, indeed. And I want to fill this up as well, just in case. Thank you very much. You go back in there and it's actually gonna be much heavier now. I'm always impressed at how this game deals with weight. Let me show you a little bit better. So as soon as I drop this, look at that. The car goes down quite a lot. So that is something to keep in mind while doing racing. Trying to make your car as light as possible and also that fuel actually has weight. Anyways, I want to grab my envelope here. Let's bring this to the post office. We should buy a sausage at least. Mm, I'm actually gonna purchase more. But there we go, the letter is gone. Uh, also, let's uh, purchase some coolant since we lost a bunch of that. And I also want to buy some mosquito spray since they are going on my nerves again. And one row of sausage. Oh, we should also purchase some beer. Totally forgot about that. But first of all, I want to bring this here into the trunk. The beer obviously goes on to the passenger seat and the coolant we can try to fill up. There we go, let's grab this guy and turn it over, yes, ah, there we go. We, we didn't lose too much to be honest with you, we would have been fine. But better safe than sorry, I would say. Let's also put the coolant into the trunk and there we go, yeah, yeah, you fit, no problem. Good, time to drive to Lopi, to the mechanic. Finally, that was my basic goal. Oh geez, stuff in my trunk isn't very happy right now. So what we want is we want to make it past this sewage hole here and go onto the gravel roads once again. There we go, yeah. So we have 3,300 monies to spend. Hopefully that is gonna be enough in order to at least do a little something. And if we are lucky, there is gonna be a 50% discount on everything. 
Uh, now we are actually on the right side of this uh, tower. That is interesting. I've also heard there's a bunch of car bodies that you can actually get. For instance, in these barns, there could be one of these car bodies. You want to grab your sledgehammer, I assume, and open up the barn. And then you just uh, kind of tow it. But I don't think you can actually build entire cars yet. It would be great if you could purchase like every single item there is in the game for building cars and then build a car from the ground up, something that looks entirely different to the first one you get. Ah, fourth gear. We're doing nicely, but I should be careful. I should be careful. If you lose parts on your car during, you know, driving and you don't realize them, it's almost impossible to find them again. And some of the parts just won't be replaced with the mechanic. Don't understand. At least that's what I read, you know? This is actually the first time I'm trying out the mechanic. I've already had a look into his sheet, you know, what kind of stuff you can do. But this is the first time I'm doing it for wheels. This is a really long drive, but you almost don't have to break here. Everything goes quite straight. There are no real surprises. And we are making it over 100 kilometers an hour on the gravel path now. Oh no! <laughs> Alright guys, I finally made it to Lope. As a YouTuber, of course, you are in the luck of mostly having a backup of whatever you are playing at the moment. So I decided to load up a backup. However, this wasn't even necessary because I accidentally figured out a trick. So I actually exited the game before it was able to register my death. I didn't do this on purpose, I just wanted to go ahead and edit the footage I already have. But in the process I realized that my save game didn't get deleted. However, my car did suffer the damage we suffered in the crash. So when I came back we were kind of at the beginning of the episode, but my car did look even worse. I mean, check this out, this is just insane, the damage. I mean, oh no, we, we have to repair this, big time, big, big time. Anyways, we are here at the mechanic, so let's go ahead and open up the door and we are gonna have a look into that sheet here. Yay, look at that, we actually have 50% discount today, that is amazing. So what we want to do is wheel alignment, I want this to be perfect, then uh, can you please stop talking, this is so annoying. Let's see what else they have, they have final gear change, interesting, and then you can kind of choose a ratio, I would assume. Okay, and then we have sheet metal and rust repair. That's probably also what we want to go for. The hood is only 620, so I think we are gonna add that. Fender right and left, then do we want to do the doors? This is already gonna be more expensive. The car body is incredibly expensive. Let's do bumper rear and front. The boot lid. Hmm, interesting. So could this be the trunk cover or is this the fuel cover? Front grill, we could do that as well. We already spent 2,600. Hmm, let's see, I think the door right is totally screwed up at the moment. We could still add that, so there would be still the door left and the car body to go now. But we cannot afford both. And here we are already at the painting section. I want to have a look at that later on. Rim polish. Ah, you can do that, okay. Also painting the rims, and that's all you can do at the mechanic. Which is a lot, that's good. So, huh, we don't need to pay right now, do we? So what we could do is earn some money and add the doors, right? So I could add the door left, and if we take on one more job, then we should be able to pay for that. 4,000, right? We just need 700 more, that's a single job. Yeah, let's do that, let's do that. I want to see this happen, then the only thing we haven't repaired yet would be the car body. Ah, no, okay, you have to have the money right now. Okay, 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 stop it, we are gonna do that instead. Great, okay. So we had to pay immediately, unfortunately. That means the door and the car body won't be repaired. Good, okay, now that we have accomplished this, what I want to do is check out if there is a toilet here, because if there is, we might be able to save the game before we kill ourselves again and have to redo everything. Hmm, is this a toilet? Ah, oh, this might be a toilet, yeah. <laughs> check this out, save and quit. All right, there we go. So I heard this takes approximately a day to do. And what you can do in the meantime is take this car instead. This is another reason why I redid the entire save game, so that this car is actually here. Now I understand why this car is here. You take this car right home, and once the mechanic phones you, you can take it back here. 
Okay, now I wonder, can we open this up? Yeah, okay, we should take uh, maybe the tool... I don't know, we can leave this here, right? But we should take our groceries that we have. Oh man, <laughs> let's open up this door. Oh no, the groceries all got unpacked, unfortunately, because we loaded and saved the game. Oh well, let's just uh, throw these guys over there. Where is the mosquito spray? Show yourself. We lost the mosquito spray. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Let's drink a beer over it. Sausages, they all go in the car. Though I dropped a few below the car. What are you gonna do? Come on, sausage. Thank you. You need to go right here. Trunk full of sausages. And of course, some beer on the passenger seat. Okay, great. Now we basically need to wait for the order we have placed at the post office and the mechanic to do his job, which approximately takes one day. We shall see. What I also wonder is whether or not I can just go ahead and save and reload a couple of times until we have passed maybe a day and then the car will be done. I'm not sure if it works this way. You don't have to be present at home when the mechanic calls. So I'll be right back once something happens. Alright guys, back we are and I actually ended up editing the footage. I waited approximately two days. Yeah, it is now Sunday and the mechanic actually called me. Also, the shop called me. So both of my things are ready. And we can already see that they actually do get a random color assigned when they are being replaced. So I got my fender and my hood. You can also see that this fender has the white color by coincidence. Then we have the green door, the left one, and of course also a brown trunk here. Now the rear bumper is fixed and the front bumper is also fixed, but they do not have a color. So the only things that are missing still is the car body, which is not in a very good shape. And also the left door. For that, of course, we need some more money, but let's just go ahead and pick up the things at the shop. Oh, I just realized we cannot pick things up at the shop because we don't have the money. So actually what we have to do first of all is bring this baby back, then we have to do a delivery of wood in order to get some coin. We might be able to do some sewage jobs and only after that we can actually purchase the gauges that we ordered. So to wrap this up, maybe let's bring this car back home. I want to check the alignment and then I might want to paint it in a different color. At least the parts that already have been replaced. Oh, okay, do we actually have some lights here? Yes, indeed. Okay, I don't want to mess up this car anymore. It should, you know, look perfect before we crash it completely. Fixing everything, basically. And from the looks of it, we will be able to do just that in the next episode when I made some more money. Oh man, this is really, really spooky. Oh, oh, the crossing here. But so far, so good. We're gonna be home very shortly. Oh, guys, we're almost back home. Yes, yes. Ah, uh, no, we're leaking again. Why the heck are we leaking again? Don't understand, break. Okay, there we go. We actually got a phone call. This is probably the neighbor that wants to be driven home. And ah, uh, unfortunately, we missed the phone call. That is such a shame because that would have given us like 600 or so monies and actually enough to fuel up a few things. Oh well, but still, it's fine. We have a functional and almost repaired car right there. It's time for me to take care of my needs. Maybe sleep a little bit to get it to the next day. But other than that, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and hopefully I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Oh, oh, there's actually a phone call. Ah, it's the... Oh, okay, that's actually one of the new jobs. So we should dump shit in the front of Lindell Inspection Shop. Okay, actually we can do that. That is totally fun. That is something to do for the next episode. I heard there were actually new jobs. So beautiful that we could actually experience that at the end of the episode. Have a great time guys and see you soon. Bye bye.